So in the previous tutorial, we um, created a word dictionary, and we're going to build on that in today's tutorial. So this is going to be tutorial four, part two, and what we're going to do is build on some of our flaws that we saw in the previous tutorial. Um, I mentioned there was a couple flaws, and uh, we want to take a look at them. So let's go ahead and uh, run our program. So it's Python 3, uh, tutorial 4.py. So we're going to go ahead and run that. And the first issue we had was if it uh, had to do with case sensitive. So if programming, this is how it's in the dictionary, the keyword, we get programming. All right, cool. That worked. But what happens if I do run the program again and run programming like this well we get a key error because it can't find programming well if we return a key error to one of our users they're going to be like well this program sucks so we don't want that to happen so let's fix that problem first excuse me let's go in and um first off take a look at the dictionary all right so we got lowercase programming and uppercase Python over here, okay? And there's an issue with this. When your keys are um, either uppercase or lowercase, or if someone wrote something like this in your in your key, you're gonna have issues because the keys are case sensitive. So what I suggest is, for now, let's just make these all lowercase. So that's Python and programming. So they're all lowercase. Now let's go ahead and change this to case fold method on the string because the input method or input function returns a string. So we're going to use case fold to take whatever the user inputs. If the user puts all capitals or the capital for the first letter and all lowercase after that, we're just going to take away um, a designation of any type of case information in that, and we're going to re save that in the search because we don't want them to be able to um, search for something that has a capitalized letter because all our keys are lowercase as of right now. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's run our program again and take a look at if that fixed our problem. So if I do uh, programming, capital, member, what I did before we got the key error, hit return, I get programming. I don't get a key error. Awesome, we fixed the first issue that we faced in our previous tutorial. All right, so our next issue we're gonna have, or we have is, let's go ahead and run our program again, just to take a look at it. If I search for something that doesn't exist in our dictionary, like uh, let's say PHP, I get a key error because it doesn't exist in our dictionary, so it can't find that. Same thing when we search for uppercase. So how are we gonna fix that? Well, let's go ahead and use an if statement. And what an if statement does is says, if something's true, um, do this. If it's not true, then do this. All right. So we're going to use an if statement. If the user search is in the dictionary, then we want it to do something. If the user search is not in the dictionary, we want to return a message to them, letting them know, hey, it doesn't exist in our dictionary. All right. So that way we cover our bases on both sides here. So let's go ahead and create an if statement. If so the if designates an if statement. Then we're going to do search. If search is in dictionary. All right. So if the search term that the user puts in is in the dictionary or the search key is in the dictionary, then we want it to do something. Well, the first thing I want to do is make, um, if you take notice here, uh, right here, our key is actually a lowercase key and it doesn't look pretty. So I want to make it look a little bit better. We're going to uppercase the first letter and we're going to do that using the um, title method for strings. So let's go ahead and do uh, create a new variable that's going to represent word, or represent uh, search. So search is the user's input and then we're going to put title method on that. All right, so word is now representing the user's input and we're going to capitalize the first letter using the title method. Um, and then we're going to take this print statement and we're going to put this up inside, we're going to indent it so it's inside this, the if statement so it will print this if this uh, condition is true. Now we got to take out this search here 
because we now want word to be there. So we'll put word, all right? Because we want to return the capitalized word, not the search term. So let's go ahead and run our program again. And this time I'm gonna search for programming. All right, so sweet. Now we got an uppercase programming, which looks a lot nicer, looks professional. And then our definition, so that worked as, as we thought it would. Now if I run it again and I search for PHP, I'm going to get search PHP and there's nothing there. All right, so if a user ran this, ran into this problem running our program, they're going to be like, uh, I don't know what happened to the software, it just stopped working. Well, what happened was the user, when they searched for a word that didn't exist in our dictionary, they hit a, a roadblock basically. It says, hey, if this is true, then print this. Well, after that, if it's false, which it was false, we searched for PHP because PHP is not in this dictionary, it stops because it has no idea what to do after that point. So to fix this, we're going to put an else uh, clause to the if statement in here and say else. So anything that's um, not true, we're going to do something with that. And we're just going to use a simple print statement. And in this print statement, we're going to say... Uh, Keyword not found in dictionary. All right, so that's pretty simple, right? So let's go back and run our program again. And this time we're going to search for PHP and we're going to get keyword not found in dictionary. All right, so we cover both bases here. If the word is in our dictionary, then we return them the keyword and the definition. If not, we send them a message saying, hey, keyword's not found in the dictionary. All right, and we lowercase our words. Now, there's a couple other issues that now that we've actually fixed or update this program that we could face. And the first one being, hey, do we want our program to quit um, after the user says, hey, uh, it's not found in the dictionary. Maybe they want to search for something else. All right, or um, what else? could we do to improve this would be, um, let's see, how about allowing the user to add um, keywords to the dictionary? We could do something like that too, keyword and the definition. That would be pretty cool too, right? So let's improve on our uh, program in the next tutorial and we'll take it one step further and we'll learn how to let the user uh, add words. And we'll also um, put this in a loop so the user can um, continue to search for words. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.